running the survey data reduction function. The field file will now be reduced in 12D model using the survey data reduction function. The function will link the field file to all relevant information needed to create the features surveyed in the field. These will include items such as the control model, mapping file and geodetic datum. So we're going to select the option survey, create field file or again using the survey data reduction function using the option reduce field file. Firstly we type in a function name so we'll type in detail survey enter. The default model will be unknown in lowercase. The report file will be detail survey and we'll change the report level to everything. Now there's a series of tabs. Firstly the field files tab has automatically found the latest field file that we've converted. Under the map file tab we pick the map file so we select the folder icon and we select browse. Again we go back up to the getting started folder and double click on the file getting started survey v14. The reduced data can be separated from other survey data by using a prefix which goes in front of any models created using the map file. This is useful if performing multiple surveys and the prefixing can be used to separate surveys from different dates or different surveyors. We select the advanced tab. 12D can either reduce the survey readings from station information within the field file or by specifying the model containing the survey station points. In this case we can select a model of points that we've already read into this into the project. So we select the folder icon and double click on survey marks. If we select the others tab we can tick to explode point strings. This ensures that individual survey points are kept separate from other points with the same code. We tick on show check measurements to display check measurements during the reductions and we set the backsite prompt mode to prompt to pause the reductions at each backsite reading. To pause the reductions as each backsite reading is reduced. We now select reduce. Each time a backsite measurement appears in the reduction a bearing datum difference panel is displayed. The user has a number of possible responses which are selected each time by the buttons under Apply Swing. Yes will apply the swing to the following readings until the next bearing datum difference panel appears. Yes to all will apply the swing to the following readings and bypass all following panels using yes as the default. This is not a good idea unless the file is being re-reduced. No will apply no swing to the following readings until the next bearing and datum difference panel appears. No to all will apply no swing to the following readings and bypass all following panels using no as a default. This is again not a good idea unless the file is being re-reduced. Edit is used to activate the field file editor to view the reading to the backsite point. This is useful if the wrong backsite point ID is entered. The new ID can be edited and the reductions continued. Cancel is used if there is a major error with the reductions and the process has to be terminated in order to fix the errors. It should be noted that by pressing cancel the process stops at this point in the reduction and an incomplete survey may appear in the graphics. You have to re-reduce the survey after pressing cancel. For this exercise we select yes. If checkpoint readings are taken to known points, a check measurement panel is displayed. Again the user has a number of possible responses which are selected each time by the buttons Continue, Continue All, Edit or Cancel. Continue will close the panel and the processing continues until the next check reading is encountered. Continue All will close the panel and the processing continues with all following check measurement panels not displayed. This is not a good idea unless the file is being re-reduced. Edit is used to activate the field file to view the check readings to the point. This is useful if the wrong checkpoint ID is entered. The new ID can be edited and the reduction continued. Cancel is used if there's a major problem with the reductions and the process has to be terminated in order to fix the error. 
And again the same note applies for the previous one that by pressing cancel the process stops at that point in the reduction and any incomplete survey may not appear in the graphics. You have to re-reduce the survey after pressing cancel. For this exercise we'll select continue each time the panel appears. Continue, continue and then for the apply swing for the backside again we select yes and then continue continue. When the reduction is finished don't press finish until the report file has been checked for errors. We're now going to select the folder icon next to report file and select open. We will scroll down through the report file checking for any problems. You can see here we've got our information for our occupied point set up, our backsite readings and checks that we did as we did the reductions. The point numbers are listed along with the horizontal angle, vertical angle, slope distance, height of target, coordinates, codes and string numbers. And if we were using GPS then there would, there would just be the coordinates. Now if we scroll right to the bottom, uh, we just ch want to check to see whether there's any unknown feature code. So in this case there is an unknown feature code SFTOM which was an incorrectly entered code. So we need to fix this back in the field file editor.